Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and it is a Wednesday at 9 a.m. I'm going to go to a coffee shop at 10 a.m. and meet my friend there. We're gonna go to Greater Goods. I actually went there with Ryan once and I think it's gonna be my new favorite coffee shop because first of all, the matcha was good and second of all, it was just like a really nice big space and they had outlets, so that's definitely most important. But I thought I would show you guys how I make my newest obsession avocado toast with honey. Last Friday, I went to Blender and Bowls here in Austin. I've heard a lot of good things about that place, so I finally tried it out, and they had this avocado toast with honey, peppers, and it was just so good, so I recreated it at home, and it's pretty much the same. They use sourdough, but I'm just gonna use Dave's Killer Bread. I love this one because each slice is just 70 calories, um, so they are like a little bit smaller and thinner, but I feel like it fills me up. All right, time to pop them into the toaster. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my avocado. Sometimes I like cut it in half and then peel off the um, skin and then I cut it really aesthetically, but today I'm not really feeling that. So, and this one's brown anyways. I feel like it wouldn't be that pretty. So I'm just gonna mash it up on the toast and then we'll go from there. I've been creating a lot of fashion TikToks recently and it's been so fun to do that. Last night I posted like an Amazon, um, what I got from Amazon and I got blocked from like commenting back to anyone. I was trying to comment a link to someone that was asking for a link and it wasn't working, like it wouldn't paste it in. So I just tried a bunch of times and I think that's what blocked me, but like it's so annoying cause I'm like, what the heck, my video is literally going viral. People are actually commenting and like asking questions about like the clothes in the Amazon fashion haul and I can't comment back and I'm like literally losing my mind. I searched on Google and it said like it would probably go away in like 24 hours, but like it doesn't even say when it's gonna go away. All right, the toast is ready and I just cut my avocados like this, like literally just as small as I could get it. Okay, now I'm just gonna mash it all down. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, but might as well do all the steps while I'm here. I barely have any honey. I'm just gonna heat it up in the microwave so it actually can come out. I'm gonna put some Himalayan sea salt and load this thing up with salt. I love me salty anything. Like I just could literally eat like the salt flake. I don't know if you guys saw that vlog, but I definitely ate like a salt cube and I loved it because I'm crazy. Next, we'll do a little bit of garlic powder, or a lot, because this thing comes out so fast. Just gonna mix it in a little. Got our red peppers. Last but not least, we are gonna add some honey to this. Breakfast is served. I'm the type of person that eats the crust first and then saves like the middle for the last part because it's just so good. Gonna pack up my bag soon and head out the door, but I wanted to do like a quick OOTD. Um, okay, so this sweatshirt thing I got from Amazon. I actually have something similar like it um, from Abercrombie and Fish. It's literally pretty much the same exact thing. And this thing was like $12, I think maybe 13. It's actually a men's jacket. So it comes in like a bunch of like bigger sizes, which honestly I was thinking about returning it and getting one size up, but I feel like it's actually a good size. I just think it's so cute to throw on over a matching workout set and then this set is from Set Active. I've been getting a lot of questions about like what bras do you wear and honestly I wear Set Active sports bras majority of the week and I love these one shoulder ones because you can actually wear them underneath like one shoulder tank tops or like a razor back tank. They go really well with them um, and they're like hidden really nicely. So. Highly recommend. This color is, I think it's called like oat or something.
I wasn't at the coffee shop for too long because the Wi-Fi was really, really shitty and my hotspot wasn't working like, you know, amazing. So I was just like, I need to go back home to my own Wi-Fi. Um, but it was great seeing Natasha. I feel like I always get so motivated when we are just like able to like vent about YouTube and like just everything social media because she also has a YouTube channel and, you know, is trying to do the whole TikTok thing. So it's just really nice to like get all of it out. But now I just feel so scatterbrained because I just feel like I could be doing so much more to like grow everything and I just don't really have the time. Like, I don't know, that sounds so stupid, but like I do freelance and then I also have my part-time job and then I have YouTube and Instagram and like TikTok. And there's just like too many platforms out there right now. And I feel like it's just gonna get even worse, especially with Instagram, just creating like all of these different features. And then TikTok is apparently adding stories now. I'm just like, can we get a break over here? So I'm feeling very overwhelmed in a good way, but also not because I feel like my brain's about to explode. So I think I just need to like sit there and like take notes on like things I wanna do and I don't know. I think I just need to write it all down, honestly. Like I saw that she had a notebook and she was writing and I was thinking that probably feels really good to just like write it down and like get it out of your head instead of just typing it. You know, I feel like it's different. And I have like so many random um, notebooks. I need to find them though. Also, I need to take a picture of my vaccination card because I'm going to NOLA and apparently they just um, told the city that some restaurants are requiring proof of vaccination but i don't want to like take my card because i don't want to lose that so i need to find it and take a picture of it somewhere in here another thing i need to do is just organize this whole place because i feel like like we know where our stuff is but it's just not organized the way i want it to be and I don't know. Okay, as you can tell, I'm very overwhelmed right now. So I'm gonna stop vlogging so I can just breathe and figure my shit out and I'll talk to you guys later. It's 6.10 and I actually have a shoot tonight. Um, it is at Vic Mathias and it is a gender reveal. So I think they're bringing like smoke bombs or like confetti something or another. I've just been sitting on the couch working on organizing my Amazon storefront. So at first I had like a just one little section called like fashion items, but I actually went in and put like tops in one, bottoms, activewear, all of that stuff. So you guys can shop it a lot more easy if you're like actually looking for something specific. I'll definitely have that link down below. I feel like this whole day I've just been eating like random crap. I don't know why, but I'm just like not full at all. I think we might get tacos tonight. This week we really didn't like do any meal plan kind of stuff, which was so stupid of us, honestly. Sometimes we just have these weeks where we don't and I didn't go grocery shopping. I was gonna try to just like eat what I had in the fridge but there's really nothing um so yeah i think tacos sound like a good idea it's 7 p.m the next day it is thursday and today we actually both went to college station i had to go there for my work, I did some Matterport tours, super exciting. I literally was there for not even two hours and the drive was like almost four hours like total. But he got to see College Station. What did you think? A little underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Reminded me of Boston little. a lot. What? Reminded me of a lot of Boston. Is that a joke? Oh, you're, you're being rude. Don't mind to stupid comments. But anyways, we are getting out of our house. I feel like I've just been sitting on the couch, just like on the computer most nights. Yesterday I had a shoot, but most nights I swear, I'm just like sitting on the computer and I just wanted to yell outside. So my idea of fun is going to the grocery store. So we're gonna go to the HEB in Mueller. At first I wanted to go to Whole Foods, but then I remembered it's so expensive. Anytime we go there, I spend like $40 or like $50 and get like literally two things just because the packaging is cute. <laughs> So we're gonna go to H-E-B and apparently they have like food vendors in there, but I'm kind of craving like just H-E-B sushi. So that might be a, a thing, but I think this one, is this a newer one or just like a big one? It's a nice one. So maybe they'll have more options than sushi. I really don't. Guys, I 
found the best honey mustard in the world. I think I have to get it. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat it with. High school honey mustard. We got the goods. The birds in the H-E-B parking lot are of a different species. I feel like they are so evil. I have very bad news to report, like extremely bad news. So basically, in one of my last vlogs, I told you guys that Ryan got me Sirius XM. Is it called Sirius or Sirius? Sir, what? It's called XM. Okay, whatever. So. XM radio. Because I liked the Soul Cycle station in his car. So then I go to my favorites and I notice that it's like not there. Like it doesn't say Soul Cycle and it's just like dot dot dot. And I was like, where the frick did my Soul Cycle radio go? So then we go to like, I guess he hasn't memorized that it's like XM4. Guess what it is now? Freaking TikTok radio. Like, what in the world? And literally, like, we turned it on, and it's so funny because it was like the commercial for, like, this is TikTok radio. Like, blah, 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 blah. This is what you're going to hear Doja Cat, and then, like, <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, yeah, like, oh, no, no, no. Like, this cannot be real. They can't be canceled. Like the Backyard Again song. Oh, yeah. And she was like, I'm going to be, like, singing the Backyard Again song all day, every day. I'm like, please, no. Like these songs I hear every single freaking day on on TikTok because you know I scroll for hours and I don't need to be hearing it on the radio too. Like I feel like radio stations already play TikTok songs, you know? So like they don't they didn't need a TikTok radio. So it's like also much better too, they like all the mixes. I know they have like so such fun mixes, but there's no way that it's like not somewhere in here. I think we just need to find it. Like maybe they just like took over the station, you know? We decided to go on the rooftop and eat our sushi. Oh, the flower instead of the firefish. We got some tuna, like assortment kind of thing. Looks like that. And then we got a Philly roll. I think I just put my finger in the wasabi. <laughs> and we got some HEB lime LaCroix. Cheers. Oh. Ooh, if you guys didn't know, I'm like freaking afraid of ants like no other, and they're all over here. Shit. Cute date idea turned bad, huh? I have two back to back trips coming up. I'm going to Nola and Nashville. And then he's going home. The 31st. Because you're going to a UGA game, right? Hello. Yes, they actually had just emailed me today, so we're good. Oh, you're good? Mm -hmm. I apologize. No, you're good. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, Bye. I got a reservation for tomorrow at Maddie's um, because my friend Hannah is leaving us. She's moving to NOLA, actually. This weekend is her last weekend here, and we're actually going to NOLA next weekend, and she's, like, moving then, so... We're trying to go all out. We're gonna do like kind of like a bar crawl situation on Saturday and just do dinner and drinks tomorrow. Who's Georgia playing when you go? We're gonna play Clemson in Charlotte. So it'll be at the Carolina Panthers football stadium. What? what? Georgia's number eight, number four in the nation. Oh wait, Clemson's is this the first two. game? Of the se oh, I, I had a mind blank. I was like, wait, is this a bowl game? <laughs> like, oh, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also going to go to the FedEx Cup, I think, in Eastlake. FedEx Cup? Golf? Yeah. I honestly am kind of sad that I didn't have time to go home this summer. Because, like, I literally wanted mm -hmm. to just, like, swim in my dad's pool, be a baby for, like, two weeks, have my parents cook for me. But my mom is coming to visit for the first time ever in mid-September, so I'm really excited about that. She is vegan, like, majority of the time, though. So I was like, oh, do you want like barbecue or tacos? I'm just like, oh, I guess I'll try tacos. <laughs> Hi. Sophie. She's being an angel. I mean, honestly, she is an angel. Like we really lucked out with her. I love her so much. But this morning when I was trying to leave for College Station, like pretty early in the morning, we were, I wanted to leave by like 6.30, but we ended up leaving at like 7.20 because first I took her out 
she pooped and she had a poop in her ass so I had to pull it out and it was like a smushy poop. This is TMI but I feel like if you're a dog mom you would understand. And it got all in her hairs and I had to bathe her and then like literally when we were leaving she like threw up and I was like what the hell? She's so dramatic sometimes like I don't even know if she was sick. I think she was just like they're leaving me I have to throw up and make it seem like I have to co go with them or something you know. Good morning, it is Friday. I was able to sleep in today because I don't have work and today is just going to be kind of chill. I'm getting a massage at 11. Don't remember the last time I got a massage. Um, the Now actually invited me in for a massage and I got to pick which one I wanted so I'm really freaking excited for that. On Wednesday, I tried to work out like super hard because I thought if I was sore and I got the massage, like it would feel a hundred times better but I'm sore in the wrong places. So that was not smart. I'm just like sore on like this part of my leg because I was doing squats, but I definitely should have done like back stuff, but I think it's too late now because I don't think I'll be sore in time. And I don't really want to go to the gym this morning, honestly. I'm just like kind of in a relaxed mood, kind of setting the vibe for the massage. Before that, I wanted to share a couple recent Amazon finds. I got this bag right here. I actually have something similar to this. It's like a pink, pouch bag um it's a little bit bigger actually and i thought this was going to be a little bit bigger but i'm fine with it because i don't need anything super big i really just got it for um going out in nola because i didn't want to take like a nicer bag well this is actually pretty nice i mean it's not like the cheapest bag in the world but i just wanted to take something a little bit cheaper not like my mark jacobs bag out in nola you know just in case um so i got this and has this little chain on it and then I put this string on it too that came with it and just tied it here and obviously you can wear it as a crossbody too I'll probably be wearing it like this in Nola just so I can have my stuff right here I filmed a TikTok earlier this week that Herschel sent me like two duffel bags and then I got another box and they sent me something else I'm like what the heck this is so cool especially like because I have two trips back to back coming up so let's open this up. Oh my goodness. I have a freaking suitcase. Are you freaking kidding me? This is what it looks like. It's like a matte tortoise shell kind of color. I think that's so cool. Usually I don't pack this light though. That's the only issue. So I wish it was like a little bit bigger, but honestly there are probably some weekend trips that I can use this, but I don't know if I'll be able to, honestly, Nola is a weekend trip, but still, you guys know I pack way too much, so I don't know. I'll probably try to fit it all in here because, like, I always want to be, like, super minimalistic and not pack as much. But when you're going with so many girls that are going to dress so cute, have, like, a bunch of different outfits to choose from, like, you don't want to be the one who underpacks, you know? So I'm definitely going to use this for more chill weekend trips, but I don't know if I'll be able to fit everything in here but i do want to quickly show you guys the two other duffels that they sent me here's the first one it is a larger one and i love the color that they sent me and here's the baby one i actually like this more than the bigger one just because i feel like this could be used like in my everyday life like if i'm going to a friend's house and i just like want to pack like food or like i don't know just for bachelor nights you know when i want to bring my laptop over and like pack a sweater or a blanket i feel like this is super cute Thank you so much to Herschel for sending this over. Seriously, it could not have come at a better time. So I'm definitely using one of these for my trips coming up. Next up, I got some things from Charles and Keith. I actually recently found out about this online website on TikTok. And I think it's a European store um, or just like more popular, not in the United States. But I saw that they shipped to the US. So I wanted to you know, try it out because basically they just have like designer looking like shoes, accessories, bags for not designer prices. Um, so it's like pretty much all under a hundred dollars and like the shoes are such good prices. I was, I was really wanting to get some new shoes for Nola because I know that I can't really wear my taller heels. So here we go. First pair. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. I am so shook right now. Okay, so basically, I don't know if you can tell. Let's try to focus. Okay, this is like that 
like hemp string what's it called i can't even remember i used to make bracelets with this stuff but yeah it has this like material it's a nude shoe and then a low heel which is going to be great for honestly everything because i don't know i love heels they just make everything look so elegant but sometimes it's just unrealistic to walk in heels for a lot of events so i got that pair and then i actually couldn't decide <laughs> which color i wanted so i ended up getting them in white too I just feel like white heels are such a trend right now, but also we're going into the fall. So I don't know how much longer like white shoes are really going to be like trendy. So that's why I was like, I kind of want the nude too, but I freaking love these. I will definitely leave the link down below. I'm pretty sure they were like $53 for a pair of shoes. Like that is unheard of for this quality and like this beautiful shoe. I'm shook, honestly. They just have such nice workwear shoes and just like more classic shoes, I will say, but they have some really nice heels, boots, all of that stuff. Okay, let's get into the purse because I'm really excited about it. Okay, not that I really need another bag, but you know, kind of wanted it. <laughs> all right guys, here's the new bag. It's giving me those fall vibes with that quilted texture and it has this gold hardware, which you guys know I love gold. Oh my God, I've been really into like crossbodies and smaller purses, but I was like, honestly, I want another like bigger purse just to fit in all of my shit because I have so much. And then I got one more thing. Okay, I've been needing like a card holder for so long now. And I was really um, thinking about getting like a designer one just because, but I saw them on Charles and Keith and I was like, honestly, I don't really need a designer one. No one's really ever gonna see it. So I just got one from them and this is what it looks like. Got my hair up in a bun. I feel like massages go so fast sometimes and then I'm just like, damn, I wish this was like three hours long, obviously. Like how can someone really massage you for three hours without getting like hand cramps? But massages are so nice when you actually get them. So I'm excited about this. I just got out of my massage and it was so amazing because first of all i feel like when you walk into a place and the decor is on point and it just like feels vibey in there like you immediately get in that like i don't know you, you get in that mood to like have a massage if that makes sense i feel like the ac is pretty loud um but yeah like the decor was stunning so pretty and then when you go like behind when you're like going into your massage i feel like it was in a movie you know like those like meditation retreats it looked so beautiful in there i was like can i take a picture of this because it's so cute so i'll post a picture on the side right here before the massage started they asked me like what do i want to get out of the massage and i've never had someone ask me that so like i didn't know what to really say but i do like to try to manifest so i was just like you know i have like a lot of unknowns so i would like to take this time to like kind of just like think but honestly when i was in there i was just like in a mental zone where i wasn't really thinking about anything like i feel like my mind was blank which I really needed and then after the massage she told me that I was flat-footed and that I had like a lot of tension in my hamstrings and that I needed to do like a certain like um like foot raise or like a toe raise kind of thing and I thought that was really interesting because I feel like whenever I've gotten massages in the past they're just like okay you're done bye you know so it was kind of cool that she even like told me that and then they gave me a gift so I thought I would open it on camera wait this is so cool. Okay, I'm guessing this is a crystal. I've never had crystals, but I've always been really intrigued by them because like I said, I am kind of intrigued by the whole manifestation thing. And I think that's kind of like related to crystals or crystals can like kind of help you do that. I don't know. Okay, so this is black tourmaline. I'm just gonna read the card because I have no idea what it is, so. Build a spiritual fortress around you with black tourmaline, your protective soul sister and personal cheerleader. This stone wards off the negative while promoting good luck and happiness. I need this. <laughs> I got a gua sha. I've, I've actually been wanting to get one, but I've never just bit the bullet. Um, so it says upgrade your self care routine with a gua sha tool. Um, lift and firm the skin, reduce inflammation, improve circulation, release stagnant energy, promote lymphatic drainage. It's stunning too. Here is the refresh eye mask. And then they gave me the calm balm. 
which I think is more, oh yeah, this is what was in my massage. It's coconut oil based and it has like peppermint oil and just like so much good stuff in it. If you guys have a now location, I highly recommend going and treating yourself to a massage because I feel like I don't do this very often and I want to do it more. Like I want to do more self-care and self-care can be really anything. Like it can be going on walks. It can be like doing a freaking eye mask, but it can also be treating yourself to a experience like a massage or like a facial or something. I'm pretty sure they do have facials too, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, I am about to drive home. I need to shower. It is hair washing day. Unfortunately, I don't really want to just because I, I feel like that would save me some time and then I could like create content, but I need to because last night my head was itching. I last washed it on Monday and it is Friday now, so it definitely needs some cleaning. I just don't want to have to style it again, you know? Just got out of the shower and I had to do some deep cleaning in the scalp area because I just, I don't know, I feel like it was kind of itchy and it needed a little refresh. So I used the Briogeo um, scalp shampoo or charcoal shampoo or something. It like comes in a little tub and it feels so good on my head. Um, but now I'm just doing some skincare, really needing to just hydrate everything. So I got a few new products from Coco Kind. I actually heard about this brand a while ago because I have eczema and I'm pretty sure this brand had like a few products like specifically for eczema, but now they have like literally so many products. And I've been using this cream lately for my face, Texture Smoothing Cream with Celery Super C Complex. And it just feels so refreshing, but also like so moisturizing. It kind of feels like a cream from the brand Fresh that I used to really, really like, but obviously it was a little bit more expensive. So, I've been really liking this. I have yet to try this, so I thought I would go ahead and try it out today. The Revitalizing Eye Cream. It comes with this like little silver applicator. I feel like every other eye cream, especially like from bougie or brands too, not that this isn't a bougie brand, but it's just a more affordable brand, but a lot of like the bougie or eye creams don't even come with like this really nice applicator. This is my first time using this, but I feel like I'm definitely going to be using it more. I like it feels so good. Just gonna rub that on my upper lids too. I remember when I went into Sephora one day and I was asking like the Sephora consultant, like how do people get just like smooth lids and like have their eyeshadows blend so well? Cause I feel like my eyelids were always so like crackly and stuff. And she was like, you have to be moisturizing your eyelids. Like they have to be, you know, like a good base to start off with. And I was like, that makes so much sense. So I definitely took that into account and started moisturizing my eyelids. And I honestly did help with like the eyeshadow application. Next, I'm just gonna put on some Super Goop sunscreen just cause it feels so good. And this week has just been so hot. And I don't know if it's just because I'm like missing the California weather cause I just went on vacation there or what. But I'm just like, oh, I cannot wait for fall. So I don't have to walk outside and immediately start sweating. I'm just gonna moisturize my lips with the Coco Kind, my matcha all over moisture stick. But I like to put it on my lips. I'm kinda hungry and I have one beef patty left, Jamaican beef patty. I used to love these. My dad would take me and get Jamaican beef patties and ginger beers when I was little and they were so good. And I just remembered we went to the grocery store last night and I got some poppy. This is like the best flavor that they have. It's raspberry rose. Trust. Get it. I feel like I see them on sale now all the time. Maybe because they knew that they were really expensive. But seriously, this freaking flavor is so good. Also, you can buy like a 12 pack on Amazon or something. I just took the biggest nap. It felt so good, but I was not planning on doing that. I wanted to like film TikToks, but you know, whatever. It felt really, really good. Now I'm picking out outfits and I love this jumpsuit. Like it makes me look freaking snatched. Look at that. Amazing. Don't mind a bra. I would change that, but I don't know. I'm not feeling this for tonight because the place we're going tonight is it focused? I don't even know. New camera, ladies and gents. We're figuring it out as we go. Tonight, we're going to Maddie's. It's pretty much a wedding venue. It's stunning there. So I feel like I should dress up even more. Like, I don't know if this is like the vibe because I feel like this is like a daytime thing. So I'm gonna look through my closet and see what else I have. I feel like this is definitely more the vibe. This dress is from Shop Red Dress. I don't think this is sold on the website anymore, but honestly, Shop Red Dress has 
beautiful maxi dresses that like aren't a hundred dollars like i think they're around like the 60 dollar range which honestly if you're looking for like a wedding dress that's not that bad well not like if you're the bride but if you're a wedding guest 60 dollars is really not that bad because i feel like people buy like revolve dresses now that are like hundreds of dollars um but yeah this is the full fit actually never mind i need to accessorize First time wearing my Charles and Keith heels, I decided to go with the white pair and hopefully they're comfortable. I think we're gonna be a little late to our reservation, just like a few minutes, but I'm on my way to pick up my friends because they live like closer to that restaurant. So I was just like, I'll just scoop you guys. Say hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is stunning. All these peacocks, not that bird. But this peacock. Dinner was so good and now I'm back home. I think we're gonna go get drinks at Kinda Tropical. We've been wanting to go to this place for forever. So tonight is the night. I saw that they had a frozen pina colada on their menu. So I'm really excited to try it. Pina colada, apparently it's a turmeric pina colada, and then he got a mango margarita. Is it good? Yeah? Yeah, rather this big. Huh? Rather this big. Yeah. How much was it? $25 or so. Oh, damn. Taste test. So yummy. Very icy, like not as creamy as like a resort pina colada, but still really good. Carmine. Okay, mango margarita, let's try it. Good morning, it is Saturday and we are about to head out the door to go to Lou's, which is on the east side. I saw like an Instagram post the other day about like their donuts. They look so good and apparently they only are there on Saturdays and Sundays. So they get there at 8 a.m. It's already 9, so I'm hoping they're not sold out. I'm not even sure if it's that popular that I would even sell out, but it looks so good. So I really want to try it. Um, and then Ryan's going to go golfing and then I'm going to have a content day because much needed. I literally need to film videos, but I just don't have like a filming space because nothing's like decorated. Like, yeah, my couch is here, but like nothing's above it or anything. So I just feel like it's so plain looking. So I haven't been motivated to film any sit down videos, which sucks because I like filming them and I like doing informative videos and I like having them on my channel. But obviously I know you guys love vlogs too, but I'm just counting down the days till my couch gets here so I can finally hang up all my art and just like figure that guess or no. my hair right now. Today I'm going to make it a content day. Ryan just left for golf so that means I need to be productive 
and take advantage that he's out of the house. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a face mask because I feel like whenever I do a face mask before I put my makeup on, my makeup is flawless throughout the day. So I was like, today's gonna be a pretty long day. Um, like I said in the beginning of this vlog or middle of this vlog, I feel like this vlog is going to be a very long one. So hope you guys like it. Um, but my friend Hannah is leaving and moving to NOLA. So this is her last weekend. So we're gonna do like a bar crawl situation. We're gonna go to Rainy Street and then West and I don't know what else in between. This is a face mask I'm using. I love these face masks from Rael. They are so freaking good. Honestly, I'm not really sure where to get them. I know they have like a website that you can obviously purchase on. I'm not sure if they have them on Amazon or like Target or where they're sold, but they are so good. So I'm just gonna slap this on my face and then I really want to like sit down and actually plan some sit down videos like I said before. I really want to get back into it, but it definitely does take some planning, especially more than vlogs. So I think I'm going to just sit down, pull up a Word doc and like start typing some stuff out. And also I really want to look for a new like duvet insert. I always see these beds on Instagram that are so plush and fluffy and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like what the heck is wrong with my duvet? So if anyone knows how to get that like really plush, fluffy look on a bed, let me know because I'm really wanting to go for like a coastal vibe for our bedroom and just get like blue pillows and blue accents, but like, you know, like more of a muted, like light blue. Just finished my makeup, but I still have to do my lips. I recently got this Sephora liquid lipstick. It was so affordable and I actually really like it. It's in the color 77. I don't know if it has like a name or anything, but it's kind of just like this pinky brown color. It was such a struggle for me to find like a brown liquid lipstick that like would go with my skin tone in Sephora. Like everyone was just like pink, like really pink or just like a pale pink. Any of the brown shades would just be like the color of poop, like so dark, nothing in the middle. So I decided to just get the Sephora collection one and I saved some money, so I don't really care, but it's really good actually. So I just put a little on, smack it around, wait till it dries a little bit. And then I do um, some lip liner. I really like the cork lip liner from MAC. I just do that on top of this lipstick. Also, I wanted to share my new hair product obsession and I definitely want to do like my favorite hair products of all time, like a whole video all on that. So I'm gonna work on that for you guys because I feel like I get a lot of questions about hair products. But anyways, this is the way matte pomade. I got this at Sephora when I got that liquid lip. It's a very recent purchase, but I've been trying out like different ways to use it. One way I found to use it is adding texture to your hair. So as you can tell, my hair was freshly curled and you know, it kind of needs to be a little bit separated and just like, I want to go for those beachy waves, not this like perfect like ringlet curl kind of thing. So we're gonna take this matte pomade, put it like on your finger and just like rub it in your hands. And then all we have to do is like go like this and it's just gonna give us the perfect texture. Let me show you guys. You can already see a big difference. It really just added a lot of texture to my hair and also like a lot of volume compared to this side. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. Here's the final product. So much more voluminous and just like effortless, I feel like. So again, this is the way matte pomade. You need it next time you go to Sephora or even order it online right now, I'll link it down below. I kind of rearranged the guest room to actually have like a filming background. Look how cute this is. Like, why did I not do this before? I'm so mad at myself. I mean, I did just get this print, which I'm gonna be doing a video with Desenio later on, but are you kidding me? I recently got this huge candle from Target for like $15, it smells amazing. I will try to link it down below. And I have this wooden bowl that I actually found on Facebook Marketplace, but um, I've seen some on Amazon, so I will link that. And then also these beads you can find on Amazon too. 
And then this vase is from at home. I'm pretty sure I got it when I was living in the sorority house. I think it turned out so cute. I don't know if I should leave it like super simple or add some more stuff. Let me know what I should do. It's been a while since I finished filming, but I still have the candle burning because ever since I heard that you have to like burn the whole top layer every time you burn a candle, like I literally just can't blow it out if everything's not melted, if that makes sense, which is kind of annoying because, you know, I'm like gonna be out of the house, so I can't really enjoy it, but it's almost there, so <laughs> I'm gonna burn it out soon. We got a quick late lunch at Fly Right. It wasn't that good. <laughs> like the tater tots are usually really good and they're not good, but anyways, I got this yummy lemonade and I was like, might as well put some vodka in it because my friends are at Matsal Rancho or they were um, while I was filming, so they were already on their second margarita. So I'm like, how tipsy are you guys? Like, I need to be on your level when I see you. They're like, we're definitely tipsy right now. So start drinking. So I'm gonna drink this. It's um, 5.30 and now I think we're meeting at 6.30. But it's kind of nice because I'm already ready. So I don't really have to like rush or anything. I might film like a couple more TikToks. I'm really excited to go out tonight because I feel like I have not been out in so long and I've been mentally preparing for it. Like in college, I literally had to be mentally prepared if I went out, which is kind of annoying because like in college, people just are like, okay, let's go out. And then they'd go out, you know, which was also fun, but I feel like it was better when you were like mentally prepared and I've been hydrating. I don't know. I sound like a freaking grandma right now, but you just gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Shit. Nope. I decided to take it in shot form and I just learned how to take shots so that you don't like taste it afterwards. So like you breathe in while you're taking it and then exhale like immediately after you swallow and you like don't taste it. So cheers. Wait, <laughs> no, I'm nervous. <sighs> okay. Easy. I barely tasted that shit. Let's do an OOTD. I love this time of day because the apartment just gets lit so nicely. Okay, so shorts are from Topshop, got it at Nordstrom. They're the A-line shorts. These are so good. They fit me perfectly, got a size 31. Um, shirt is Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with like this fit. I don't have to wear a bra with it, which is amazing, you guys know. And then I'm wearing my bar shoes. The Air Force ones, the dirty ones, the OGs. They're nasty, but you know, gotta wear them when we're going to rainy. I have not been drunk in forever, so it was just really fun to be with my friends and have a good night. So I woke up like not hungover, but just, you know, not feeling 100%. Actually, we woke up at literally 11 and stayed in bed till like pretty much noon and then we got Starbucks and then we took Sophie to um, the new Waterloo Park and it's just a really nice area. Um, I think it's like not fully open yet, but they also built an amphitheater. So there's gonna be like concerts there. So if you guys are in Austin, definitely go check it out. Take your dogs and go on a nice walk there. We went midday, which might not have been the smartest decision because it was so hot outside. Then we came home and went to the pool. So we were just having a relaxing day and we're actually on our way to dinner right now. We're going to Suerte, which is a highly recommended restaurant here in Austin. It's been on our bucket list. So tonight is the night we're finally trying it. Quick outfit of the day, the dress is from Amazon. It has these really cool detailed like little dots and then bag is from Amazon as well and then the shoes are Charles. 